Fuck, I didn't even push play. Or pr record. Blah, blah. <sighs> Um, blah, 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 blah. I lost my train of thought. Uh, you're going to go to what color palette? then you can shake a stick at. From Tom of Finland to Amy Winehouse, Alexander McQueen, Boy George and Tom Grennan, well to name but a few, Henry's work fuses modern popular culture weaving a dialogue exploring taboos on sex, faith, sin and salvation. That's a podcast series in itself. Henry, hello my love. Hello, how are you? I'm living the dream, sat opposite an icon in his own right. Mm, I don't know about that, but thank you for that. Oh. High praise indeed. Oh, modesty. Uh, Tell me about you. Tell me about growing up, Henry. Where did that all happen? I grew up in uh, Southern California, uh, Los Angeles region. Uh, I was born in Orange County, and my formative years were in Hollywood and that that uh, base in downtown. Um, grew up in the uh, came up through the punk rock scene, um, and you know I started to that. Then there was the development. Like with the AIDS epidemic, there was the uh, homo queer, queer culture things. Queer culture then is much, much different than it is yeah. now. Because it was um, a pushback from the clones and, you know, um, uh, anti-establishment in a sense. Um, and I really took to that because within the punk scene, it was okay to be a freak or an oddity in some ways. And, you know, you didn't have any money. Um, you dressed how you wanted. Everyone felt like a freak. And you were encouraged to stand out and stick out. And, so. and was that just the Los Angeles scene, or was this happening all across the US? Um, well, it, I think it was in major metropolises, you know. In, in Hollywood, you know, um, and like New York, people go there to chase a dream or try to figure out something, and they already feel like an anomaly. And then when they find these people, there were drag bars and stuff. But um, when I moved out of Los Angeles and I, w I joined the Army and I found myself in Georgia, I found more, more drag queens, more art students and stuff, and, and just, just as wild and eccentric as and even further than uh, the ones in Hollywood because I think that when you know when you're already feeling like an oddball and you know you feel like a, a, you've 
a hump on your back, throw some glitter on it and just embrace those those shortcomings and use it as a strength. And that's the thing I've always loved about it. <laughs> Because he's a bit cool. Henry's a bit cool. Black one, Henry. Oh, well, I'm sure. And I'm Henry, maybe. Yeah, and we have Great some candles. You're very cool. So, Henry, we have here tonight for you, we have um, Scott from West Bank Gallery, who's going to talk to you about some of your art. I'm going to pass over to him. And Scott, come on, Scott! Oh, oh, oh. Hi Henry, how are you mate? What's going on there? I just I wrapped this up, now I'm getting ready for my first show in LA in 28 oh, awesome, years. Awesome, so, so, you know, Crazy. how, uh, yeah, look, I'm, I'm unprepared. This is meant to be doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, what, uh, what, what do you want to talk about? What's, what's in your art, art, I mean, what, what have you been doing? Uh, well, well, thank everyone for coming out tonight and, and celebrating both Pride and looking at the art. You know, uh, you know, celebrate your gayness, not your anus. <laughs> so, um, basically, my work, my work is based on a lot of like popular themes, sex, religion, um, as well as uh, <clears throat> The, the the process of false idolship, you know, the worship of money, but the, also the uh, the trappings that come with sin and salvation. 